Abbasis has quest. Shani Abbasis has quest. Shani Abbasis has the strongest legs and feet any man has ever had. He was like a flying truck rabbit. He never wore shoes, but he could jump, could jump over the widest river in change life. Johnny was born around the time of the American Revolution and grew up in Massachusetts. He loved sitting under the trees and eating apples. One day, he heard people talking of moving out west to live, and he knew they would need apples when they got there. Johnny gathered apple seeds and head out west and head of the sailors. Johnny was a scrawny, scrawny man. His arms and legs were as thin as tree branches, but as strong as iron bars. Johnny wore an, an old cloth sack for a seat, a shirt, with holes carry, with holes cut out of his head and arms. He always carried his silver and bag of bubbles, seeds that never seemed to run out. He was quite a sight. He even wore a cooking pot on his head. Johnny loved nature more than just about anybody. He loved to walk from sunup to sundown and whistles everywhere he went. Birds often follow him, follow Johnny and hear him make his music. Johnny understood every, everything the birds said and talked right back to them with his fist, with his whistle. Johnny legs carry him lighting fast from one clearing to nest. Whenever Johnny came to clearing, he stopped, dig a hole, and pull out a apple seed in it. Then he pushed the pile of dirt back into the hole with a bare feet. After planting seeds all day, Johnny would sleep under the stars. Apple trees as tall as Johnny would grow faster than weeds in the clearings. Johnny would smile at the big pumpkin before rising of the new place. Every morning, Johnny took the pot off his head and turned it right side up and places under a tree. When Johnny came back in the evening, the pot was always full of, full of delicious fruits or vegetables. Sometimes it was too, it was sweet potatoes and at other time corn nuts or berries. Johnny was always happy to find this food in his pot because he never ate meat of any kind. I love all the animals and didn't want to see them harm in any way. Some sunny, sunny watch Johnny from behind the rocks and trees as he traveled through the lands. He was different from any man, any white man they had ever seen, and he made a strange sound with his mouth. The Shawnee were also impressed by love and respect. Shawnee showed even thorny plants and dangerous animals. The 
Shorney takes some apples from Shorney apple Shorney's trees and wanted more. They make friends with Shorney. He sat around the fire with them while they ate apple sauce and cornbread and that he baked a special treat. After dinner, they danced around the fire late into the night. Johnny could dance longer and higher than even, than even the strongest Johnny people. One day, while Johnny was planting seeds, he heard a terrible howl in the woods. Johnny followed the howl and found a wolf caught into a steel trap. Johnny spoke softly and gently patted the wolf head and opened the trap. From then on, the wolf followed Johnny everywhere. Johnny named him Romer. Romer liked to dig holes for seeds, so Johnny planted apple trees twice as fast as before. Johnny swiftly planted trees all over Penny's farm, Pacific, Penny, Ah, Oio, Indiana, and E. Onois. When the several sailors finally arrived in the covered wagons, they were surprised to find red apples hanging every, in every order. What a treat in the finest! Some of the sailors held a square dancing to celebrate, the, and Johnny got excited. He danced so high that he didn't come down until the next day. The earth was completely around before Johnny landed back on the ground at the end of his dance. A young sailor boy named Joey was curious about Johnny cooking pot. Joey wondered how the pot became filled with food each day. One day, Joey hid and waited to see what would happen when Johnny left the pot under the trees. Joey waited and waited for a for what seemed like an hours. Joey waited so long that he got tired and fell asleep. When he woke up, the pot was full of potatoes, strawberries, and walnuts. Joey didn't see anyone, but he found tracks from many kinds of animals around the pot. In time, Johnny grew old and died. Romer the wolf carefully buried Johnny with his apples, seeds, showers, and cooking pots. That night, Romer sat next to Johnny's grave and howled long and sad as the golden moon. The birds came to pay their respect as well and sang their very best hymns. Hundreds of other animals, animals gathered at the edge of the forest to say goodbye to their falling friends. And still today, the sweetest apples in the whole country grow right in that very spot.